Uh, nice to meet you, Ryan. And um, could you please tell you about yourself and can you explain what Solve Protocol is and its main objective? Okay, so um, yes, I'm Ryan from Solve Protocol. I'm the founder of Solve Protocol. And we, um, I started co-founded co like Solve Protocol from late um, 2020. So it's been a four years journey. I think this is quite wonderful and a quite long journey for us to keep like dedicated on Salt Protocol. And in terms of Salt Protocol, it's a, um, it's a BDC5, kind of leading BDC5, BDC staking platform. So currently we got over 20,000 Bitcoin being staked into our protocol. As a leading kind of BDC staking platform, we try to like activate the over $1 trillion Bitcoins to the, BD, to the whole DeFi ecosystem. So there's a lot of like uh, cryptos such as Bitcoin, Ethereum. Why did you choose on to like why did you choose Bitcoin? diving to? Oh, I think that's really a good question. So I think like during the past four years kind of journey, um, at the beginning we try to tokenize you bearing assets on chain using our token standard and our infrastructure. So at the beginning we focus on stable coins, Ethereum, those of assets. But um, from like late 2023, we realized that BDC5 could be huge and should be huge and all must be huge in this cycle because like we can see BDC has the best performance than Ethereum than the other kind of mainstream tokens and also we can see like after the Bitcoin halving so more and more kind of big Bitcoin related parties they really want to like promote the growth of the BDC by ecosystem so that's why we realized that um, to provide like the, the uh, BDC staking kind of service to the users to help them to generate you for Bitcoin is a good timing. So that's why we decided to dive into like all in Bitcoin, BDC5 from early 2024. And after like release our killer app, so BDC, and then we got like 20,000 Bitcoin stake here. I think that's amazing. And yeah, that's how we get there. Yeah. So you kind of pivoted from uh, Ethereum, stable coins to Bitcoin, yes. How does Solve BTC aim to maximize Bitcoin liquidity mm -hmm. while maintaining assets? Yes, I think like the, uh, firstly, I think all the, the most important part is security. So how to store like the Bitcoin, the native Bitcoin very securely. So we, we build a whole infrastructure, it's called, it's called liquidity consensus network plus some of the regulated kind of centralized custody, including Sifu, Cobalt, kind of um, the whole solution make us to really kind of be able to prove the kind of transparency of the native Bitcoin kind of reserve. And we can make sure that like the sub BDC and also sub BDC dot Babylon, those of the token could be one to one to the underlying Bitcoin. So that's all about security. So when it comes to the liquidity, we allow like the so BDC holders, so BDC dot Babylon holders to bring their BDC to different kind of chains, including like Ethereum, BNB chain, Avichon, Merlin, and also later like Bob, Stacks, all those of the chains and also Coinbase base chain. So that's and then we build liquidity pool, DEX pool, and we build lending, we, uh, we integrate with lending protocol and allow users to borrow against those of Sol BDC on different chains. So that's how we build the whole liquidity market for Sol BDC. So what makes Sol BTC different from other solutions that integrate Bitcoin into the DeFi market? Yes, I think the first point is the size, right? So currently we are the biggest, we're the largest. So it, it seems that we proved the product market fit because people like this solution. That's why we can grow so fast. I think that's the first point. The second point is that um, I think it's the security, as I just mentioned. Um, we do have a infrastructure which is called Liquidity Consensus Network and there are some modules. I will give you an example. One is called Challenge Proof Module. So Challenge Proof uh, Module could be used to, you know, seek safeguard against the hackers' attacks. So if the hackers hack your SOP BDC, and actually we can involve a decentralized governance kind of mechanism to like, you know, get rid of like the unauthorized redemption of like the Bitcoin, the underlying Bitcoin from our protocol. So such kind of the solutions really enhance the security of Salt BDC, Salt BDC uh, and also like really enhance the kind of trustworthiness a, for the whole BDC5 ecosystem. So yeah. So how do you envision Salt BTC contributing to the growth of Bitcoin ecosystem? Yes, um, I think like currently um, the biggest challenge for BDC5 ecosystem um, is that like the entry barrier is too high. Yeah, so for most of the users, they really, it's really difficult for them to like, firstly, they need to have a 
native Bitcoin on mainnet. Secondly, they need to like really utilize, utilize this Bitcoin to some of Bitcoin layer two or some of the other layer one. So there are some bridge and also there are some, a lot of kind of opportunities out there. So it's difficult to find out like which one is the best. So I think the barrier is too high. So I think Solve is acting as a gateway. So we try to help the users to really be able to you know, participate into BD5 in just two clicks. I'll give you an example, like we work with BNB chain and we are the largest BDC5 projects on BNB chain. So as a Binance users, you withdraw your BDC to BNB chain and then deposit it into Solve, stake it into Solve, that's done. Then you, you get into the BDC5, right? So that's why, that's why I, I think like this really reduce the friction for the users to participate into BDC5 and this is really matter. It really need to be easy. Easy. For users to use. Yes, right? easy, easy, easy. Yes. So it's the, can be the easiest. The easiest way. Yeah. I can make sure. I can make sure. Every day we think about how to reduce the step for the users to participate. If there's two step, it's still okay. Three step, now just 10% people left. Four step, 1% people left. So that's that's how it works. Yeah. So Solve is pioneering Bitcoin reserve for everyone. So what's Solve's role within BTC Pi? So what is the future roadmap for Solve? Yes, I think currently we position ourselves as the largest BDC staking platform. It's a comprehensive BDC staking platform. So we just want to help the users to participate into BDC Pi to do what? To do BDC staking. So you can stake BDC into Solve and then we provide a variety of staking scenarios for you. You can, you can stake your BDC to like Babylon or you can stake your BDC to Athena or you can stake your BDC to Core, to Bob, to Stacks or even like to some scroll linear, a lot of places. So you can decide where you want to go. And we would try to like, you know, really provide a very good user experience and also a whole kind of very secure infrastructure to make sure that everything is like transparent and also very secure. So that's, that's, that's how we position ourselves as the leading BDC staking platform. And also I think like, um, yeah, as, as I just mentioned, like, reduce the friction, um, lower the barrier for the users, and keep the high security and varieties of use, staking scenarios. That's all, that's, that's the key factors here. There are a lot of Bitcoin investors in Korea. So do you have anything to say to Korean investors that are investing in Bitcoin? Yes, for sure. So I think like um, four years ago, Ethereum is the best asset. Cause you can really bring Ethereum to everywhere, to farm points, from tokens and you earn a lot of additional kind of kind of tokens and also your Ethereum prices keep was keep going up. Now for this cycle is for BDC. So for BDC we can we can find out that um, the BDC prices keep going up. It's, it has the best performance in this cycle. And then you can really bring BDC to a lot of places to earn additional tokens to get the upside. Because like BDC maybe 50%, 30%, but it's not good enough. But when, it, when you like really utilize it for staking, then you get more tokens, get more points, then you get another 30, 50%. I think that's something, this is the best strategy. I just like tweeted on the Twitter yeah. and my Twitter account, I said, oh, this is the best strategy. Hold Bitcoin and use it to farm, to stake, and then this is the best. Yeah. yeah. It was a very nice interview with Brian Nishman, and thank you for coming to the Long Media. Yeah, thanks for hosting yeah. me. Thank you. It was very interesting. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah.